Hi, Cheryl Locke here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own mask to use in your power director. It's super easy to do, and any you can use any type of photo editing equipment you have. I happen to use paint.net, so that's what I'll be showing you on, but the basics are all the same, and you can use what you've got. Okay, here we are in our MyPaint.net. Whatever you use is fine. First, we're going to go to File and New. This new palette, I'm going to make 684 by 486. And I'll click OK. Now I have a nice, fresh white palette. Well, we're going to first go over and get our magic wand, click, and now that it's all highlighted, I'm hitting Delete on my keyboard. Now I have a total transparent page. Now I'm going to use white as my color. I'll go over and get my line tool. I'm going to make my line. I'll go a little smaller than that. I'll try a 10. I'm going to go down here and we're going to start making what parts we want to see and what parts we want to hide. So first I'll make a line going across as in one of the examples I showed you. And now I have my nice white line. If you want, you can make it curvy, whatever you'd like to do. Now I'm going to go get my magic wand and click in the lower portion. This portion I'm going to want to have as my cover, so to say. I'll go get my paint bucket and paint it white. Now that I have that done, you can see we have a line that I don't want. So I'll get my magic wand, click right in that line, and to double check, do my paint bucket again. Now I have a separation. I'll deselect, and as you can see, we have a mask already made that quickly. And if I was done and that's the one I wanted, I would go to File, Save As. I have a, happen to have a mask folder. I would name it. And you're going to want to save in a PNG so that the transparency stays with it. This will not work in like a JPEG. So just save it in a PNG. That way you'll be good to go and then I click Save. Now another way we could do this, I'll take it back up to our original palette. Now we have the white. This time I'm going to use black as my color. I'm going to go over and I'm going to get the rectangle tool. I'm going to take this way up, say a 175, and I want a corner showing through transparent. So I could do something like this, and that way I've got this as my base, this will show through. That little white spot there I don't want, so I'll just cover it right back up. Now I'm going to get my magic wand, click, this will highlight my black, hit delete on my keyboard, and I have transparent. I will warn you, sometimes I found I have edges, so what I do is I take my eraser and I just go right along the edge, and I'm careful, and I make sure that it's gone. You can make all kinds of designs with these. You can do angles, you can do straight across, whatever your need is. If you want to make a design in the center of the white and have it transparent, use a dark color, you can do that. So now that we've made our mask, let's go over to Power Director and apply it. Here we have two videos. I made them different colors and no, they don't go together. This is just for the purpose of the video. I've got a purple one on top, which is being hidden now by the orange one on the lower level. So I want to click on my lower level. I'll go to Modify. Now I'll go to Mask. And Power Director gives you a lot of great masks you can use. Sometimes their sizes just aren't quite what you need. So if you've made a mask, you simply go to Import. I can pick a mask. We'll try this one. Well, I think this is the one we just made. Let's open it. Okay, now I've imported it and it's down here. You can size it now because it's not going to fit perfectly. Go ahead and drag that over. And if you find that it, it doesn't want to stretch, make sure you've unchecked Maintain Mask Aspect Ratio. So as you can see now, the white part is showing the bottom video. The transparent part is letting the top video show through. So it'll just 
lets you show both videos. Once you've picked your mask and got it where you want it, simply click Save. Now hopefully this will show on, on my video here. As you can see, we're going to show two pieces of video at once. You can pick any type of mask, either make a new one or use one of them PowerDirector offers because it's so simple to do. So there you have it. You can now be a mask expert with your PowerDirector and get a little more creative with your videos, showing two videos at once. So be sure to subscribe to Hot Blog Tips here on YouTube, follow us on Google Plus, and share our videos. Thanks for watching.